continuing our series on whiteboard animations in PowerPoint and we're still working on some options for folks who don't draw or folks who aren't artists this time we're going to trace and I'm using a touch screen with a stylus you can also use a drawing pad if you have a touch screen you can also use your finger or if you don't have a touch screen you can use your mouse or a drawing pad I've already put a picture in PowerPoint that I'm going to trace let's go to review start inking and normally when someone draws they draw light lines first then they go back and fill it in so we'll go the same way just like we're drawing for real I'll pick a light line and I'm just using the stylus to lightly fill in and I'll come back when this is done alright so I've done the first light tracing and to turn my mouse back into a mouse instead of a pen I'll click select objects now I can just grab the basketball out of there and hit delete on my keyboard and now we have the fine tracing and now we can go over it again with a heavy tracing I'm going to select this brown pen here and then I'm going to draw smooth lines I'll click select again then home and now I'm going to left click and drag to select all of my objects animations and either the wheel or the white would probably work here let's try wheel and notice they're all happening at the same time right now and while they're all selected I'm going to go to duration let's try 0.75 with no delay and we want them almost all of them to start after previous that means they'll go one at a time notice how the lines are graduated now and then I'll go back up here to the very first one and I actually want it to start with previous when the slide opens and all the rest will be after previous let's hit play and see what it looks like and that's the drawing effect of the basketball and of course we use a simple picture for demonstration purposes but if you have the time you could do a lot more complicated picture just trace around it and add your animations stay tuned for more on tracing